up. Welcome back. It is Bones. And in this one, let's go ahead and do a top 10 video. Now, I have done these before throughout collecting DC Multiverse with different characters, different groups. I've done top 10 videos. Now, I haven't done this specific category, so I thought I would get into it now that we are very deep into the McFarlane DC Multiverse figure line. Now, we have received hundreds of other figures that are not Batman or Superman, but I do think we have enough variety that we can do a top 10 team up Superman and Batman from different designs and different versions of the characters. Now, you know, the team up between Batman and Superman has a long history in the DC multiverse. Going through the ages, they've always been able to team up, especially known as the world's finest. Now, though a part of these duos that I'm going to show you are standard releases of the figures, I do have a lot of custom in there because, of course, that's one of the fun parts of collecting this line and expanding your different variations of characters. But we will go through the top 10 team-ups in my collection of Batman and Superman so I can show you some of my favorite combinations of the characters that I have. Now, starting off, one of my least favorite Batman and Superman team-ups, but I mean, it is released by McFarlane. One is customized and one is not, and that is going to be the Rebirth era of Batman and Superman. Now, both of these figures have a lot of problems. That is why they are number 10 on my list. Definitely not my favorite, but... I still wanted to include them in the lineup. Now, the Batman has a lot of problems, mostly in the execution and the design. They made him <laughs> really unproportioned from the lower body to the upper body. While the positives are minimal, like the head sculpt is really nice, and the design and concept of the figure is very accurate, just the way they executed it really brings it down. Although it does look good, displaying and posing him, there's no problem. Just standing him side by side with the Superman is pretty tough. Now the Superman Rebirth also had its problems, and that is why I customized my version. This is a notorious one that they just painted the tip of the boots Instead of sculpting it out, which was <laughs> a big no-no, fans were really not happy. Now, I did customize mine to where I added the little sculpted out tips of the boot, along with some additional custom work like painting the silver cuffs, changing out the hands, and a little touch of paintwork on the head sculpt. But together, this is representing the rebirth era of Batman and Superman. And once again... Not really one of my favorites in the line, but I did want to see them represented in this top 10. Now coming up next at number nine is gonna be a little bit more customized versions of Batman and Superman. And that is my custom Three Jokers Batman, which a slight custom, I just changed out the belt that he originally came with. So, you know, that's not a big deviation from the original standard release but the superman is customized a little bit more this is the classic version of superman based on the page puncher's body and for this one what i really wanted to do was change out the trunks to give them the more traditional superman trunks and change out the hands which of course as we know was <laughs> those big ginormous man stranglers and i just wanted to have hands that were a little bit more proportional to the figure. Now, another reason I wanted to combine these two together was their aura or their presence that they give off. The Superman being a really bright and shiny, happy-go-lucky version of Kal-El and the Batman <laughs> looking very angry, 
very brooding. I just thought the contrast made them go together in a kooky sort of way. So that is why I have this duo together at number nine on my list. That is the classic version of Superman, a little bit modified, as well as the three Jokers, Batman. Now, number eight takes me into one of those more obscure, more out there combinations of these two characters. And that is the death metal versions of Batman and Superman. For some reason, these are some of my favorites. I mean, not too much, but it is a little bit refreshing to see these alternate versions of our heroes. You have that spiked up studded version of Batman. Now, this one is cool because I did change the ankle joints because the original release did have those horrendous ankle and boot lower parts. And this one makes it look a lot more cleaner and doesn't break up the ankles as much. And the Superman is one of my personal guilty pleasures. I don't know what it is about this Superman, but I have a couple of different customs of him. I still have one that I want to repaint that I haven't worked on. You do have to mod these, you know, like, like I said, in a slight way. The head for the for the Superman sat really low. So this one does have an extended neck peg to keep the head raised up a little bit above the shoulders. But once again, this is just an out there dark version of the world's finest. And for some reason, it's just a combination that I have a really soft spot for. Really enjoy these together. And that is the death metal versions of Batman and Superman. Coming in at number eight on the list. Now coming in at number seven, more than anything, I put these two together because of the color scheme. It just screams that classic comic book look for Batman and Superman. And that is my classic Nightfall Batman with an alternate Batman head and the classic colored Superman from the Atomic Skull 2 pack. Now for some reason, these just fit well together for me. The colors are so vibrant and the colors match really well together. And deep down, they're just some basic, no frills versions of Batman and Superman. Now, nothing really spectacular or that blow me away. But if you love those old school, original, classic colors of these characters, then this is definitely the combination for you. So that's number seven on the list. Now coming in at number six is another very standard combination of these characters. I don't know what made me put these two together, but they do look very good together. And that is the black and gray version of Nightfall Batman with no changes and an Action Comics 1000 Superman with the heat vision eyes that I did customize. Now, once again, I just <laughs> really went with my gut. And these two figures just seem to mesh together. The darkness of the black of the Nightfall Batman with the heat vision eyes and alternate fist hands of my 1000 Superman just really worked well together. Pretty fun little combination here. Just giving a slight darker edge, but not really too much. But great combination of these two characters. And that is number six on the list. Now, coming in at number five, once again, slightly modified, but you do get the gist of what I was going for. And that is my first appearance versions of Batman and Superman. Now, the Batman being the standard release of that first appearance Batman. Slightly modified, I did change out the hands, gave him a firearm to give him that really murderous feel that he had in those original pulp comics. Definitely a fun figure to pose, especially with that wired cloth tape. So definitely one of my favorite Batmans released from Farland. Now on the opposite end, now on the opposite end, you do have that Crisis on Infinite Earth's body Superman with the alternate first appearance Superman head. A lot of people have done this online. Luckily, I have multiples of these figures that I could play around with and do alternate heads and do a little bit of modifying. 
This one also does have a cloth cape, which makes it very fun for posing and displaying. So I just really like the way these two feel together, both giving off that first appearance feel or that golden Silver Age feel of these two iconic characters, Batman and Superman, the world's finest. But I did have to add <laughs> my own cynical touch, which of course was giving the Batman his pistol. So just a little touch I added on my own. I think it really finishes that figure off and gives him that little edge that he needs. So that is my number five, right in the middle of this list. First appearance, Batman, Superman, in my own demented versions. Now coming in at number four, a recent figure that I did show you guys, which was a little bit of a custom of that Dick Grayson as Batman, turned into a more 2000 style era of Batman with the pouches and the long ears. Now the Superman is the recently reviewed gold label Superman 1000, which really fun figure, really sought after figure right now that people are really trying to find. Uh, did some slight mods also to the Superman. I changed out the ankle joints, but nothing major. But the way the two figures have the cloth capes really bounces off of each other. Great for displaying, great for posing together. So this is getting more to that definitive look of the world's finest Batman and Superman. Really fun little combo here. So that is my number four. Batman and Superman team up list. Now we're really going deep. We're getting into the top three. And my third pick for this list was the standard release of Hush Batman. Now, if many of you know, been following me, you know that that is my favorite Batman released from McFarlane. I just love the way it has shelf presence and the way it looks a lot more comic accurate than a lot of other Batman figures, just leaping off the pages of the Hush storyline. Now this is the standard release of the Hush Superman. The only difference being that I did paint the skin tone a little bit more of a flesh color. Didn't change anything else. I did do the hip mod to make them a little bit taller. But besides that, minimal changes on the Superman that do make a big difference. The way he looks together with this blue Hush Batman, really one of my favorite combos that I looked at while doing this list. Something weird about the Superman head sculpt that I can't get around, but it does look just like the artwork <laughs> from the comics. So that's the main reason why I decided just to put these two together and make them even more closer to a definitive World's Finest Batman and Superman team up. This one being more of a Hush version. That is number three on my list. The Hush versions of Batman and Superman. Now coming in, the runner up at number two is my custom classic Superman, which was one of my first customs that I made in the inception of the McFarlane line. So I've had this custom for a very long time, combining the Superman 1000 and I think the infected Superman was the body that I used for this. Paint, repainting it all and making my own classic Superman. Still one of my favorites. So it was only fitting that I combined him with my custom Nightfall Batman. Now this is the Batman from the Bane 2 pack, of course, with a different head. And with that fantastic cloth cape. So this is a really great combination of Batman and Superman. Love the classic looks. Love the way they mesh together. These two being some of my favorite customs that I've done in the DC Multiverse line. Really worked well putting them together. And getting me, inching me even closer to that world's finest team up of Batman. Superman. Now, before we move on, I do want to do one honorable mention. It's nothing big, but I just thought I would throw it in there because honestly, there's tons of other combinations you could have done. You could have done the Blackest Night zombie versions of Batman and Superman. You could have done 
the armored, which would be the Hellbat, and the unchained version of Superman, which would have been, you know, technically still <laughs> a world's finest team up, even though they have nothing to do with each other in the storylines. But it's pretty cool to be able to expand our collection and have so many options that we can choose from. So this is one that I threw in there, but I did have to think about because this is going to be the Dark Knight Returns version of Batman and Superman, but not the standard release versions. This being because still not a big fan of that Superman head sculpt that McFarlane did. I have them in my collection, but I do rarely use them just because, I mean, Frank Miller's artwork is known for being a little bit grotesque, but I think they kind of went too far in that direction. Now, the Batman version, which is still not as bad, it does look like it came out of the comics. I just went ahead and did two custom repaints of each one of these figures. So now you have a Superman with an even more comic accurate head of Clark Kent. And you have a Batman with a slightly darker, more sinister take on the Frank Miller head sculpt. So these are my repainted figures, customized figures. These are the ones I really go to when I want to do any sort of display or figure photography with these Dark Knight Returns, Batman and Superman. This is what I go for. Not the original releases, but these customs. And that is why I just threw them in there as my mention. So finally, we have made it to my number one team up. World's Finest, Batman and Superman. So first up, we have this custom version of Hush Batman. Now, I will talk about these. He is matched up with my definitive Superman custom that I made. So this was later on when I had more experience doing custom work. I did this definitive version of Superman. I do have the video on my channel. Now the Batman is slightly custom. This is a custom from the Hush 2 pack. I changed the head from a blue Batman Hush onto this body, changed out the belt to give it that pouch dark look from the vampire Batman, changed out the hands and made it my own. So this is my own version of the black and gray Hush Batman. And he looks so good next to my definitive version of Superman. Now, this custom was made with different parts of a vampire Batman, Superman 1000, and even some Hush Superman thrown in there, making this ultimate definitive version of Superman that is really one of the jewels in my custom collection. Love this Superman figure. And, he, and although I didn't put as much work into the Batman, this is my favorite custom Batman in my collection. So it just made sense to team these two together up in my ultimate Batman and Superman team up, the world's finest. So this was really fun. I mean, you guys may have your own favorites. And of course, there's so many figures we could choose from to make so many combinations. It is all up to you and your imaginations. So very fun making this list. Hope you guys enjoyed. Keep hunting out there, keep collecting, keep customizing, and I will see you on the next one. Call me Crazy Joe, but now they can call me Batman.